Hey guys, what's going on? It's Defiance here, and I'm bringing you this new video that I said I was going to bring out. Uh, I eventually got around to doing it. I tried to do the same video about six months ago, but uh, as I was rendering the video, it all crashed, and I lost even the video screen capture that you're seeing now that I had done. So, you know, I scrapped it, and I wasn't sure whether I was going to do it. It took about half an hour to do, and I was like, yo, we'll CBA doing that again. But uh, I've got a spare 20 minutes, uh, currently playing some Destiny on the Xbox One, uh, cut my game short to do this video because uh, I knew that I need to upload a video for this week because I haven't uploaded in about 6 days. So here it is, um, uh, the title of the video is how to create a GIF overlay, if those are unsure what a GIF is I will show you what a GIF overlay is, um, have a look on my... I'm girl, I'm girl, how the hell do you say it? Um, and this, this one might. Whether it'll load or not, I'm not too sure. That one doesn't move. My bad. Let me find one that that's. So this is it, um, I can't actually look it, oh, do I want to download that, I'll, I'll download it, whatever, let me just let that download, and uh, this is now going to open somewhere, and open up in Internet Explorer, because for some reason I see the one that'll show GIFs, so this is a GIF one, uh, as you can see like it changes the text of the logo on the top and it just pops around on a repeated overlay that is what I'm going to be showing you how to do today uh, it's actually pretty simple uh, there was a, a time when even I didn't know how to do it believe it or not and I was like yo I really want to make one just for the fact of wanting to make one so let's pop back into Photoshop and this is just a basic overlay I guess just you've got the top bar with your text bits this, I mean it's all just rough, I've just changed it right now, obviously that's a bit higher than that one. Uh, so what you'll need to start is you could either use the bar at the bottom, like you have like a stationary bar at the bottom, or you can use one on the side, I prefer to use the one on the side, just out of personal preference. And first thing I'm going to do is open a graphic pack on Illustrator. Uh, so I can get my sponsor logos ready and not have too much to change. So while that opens, um, we're going to get straight in. So this is this will be your first screen. Uh, obviously, that, that you can see it's quite an old overlay. It's got my old logo in the bottom. Uh, so first thing you do is you go up to Window, which is on the top bar here. You go over to Window, and you go down to Timeline. Just click that once, and it will open this. Uh, so here you could either be creating a, a video timeline or a frame animation. You can use either. I personally use a frame animation. So you click that, create frame animation, and this is your first frame. Like you would if you were on Illustrator, uh, not Illustrator, um, After Effects. Uh, it's kind of like the timeline on there. Um, so, so before you get, get into doing anything, sorry, mumble up my words. Before you get into doing anything at all, make sure that your first frame has got all the text you need and all of this done. Uh, if you were having a bottom or a cam. Uh, make sure all of that is done and none of that's going to be changed. So the first thing you need to do is, this is my first frame obviously, and I want to choose a sponsor that's going to go in there. So I'm just going to copy this. Uh, I'm going to delete this group here and create a new group. And in it, I'm just going to paste uh, the Elgato logo. And I'm going to scale that down to size uh, so it fits on here perfectly. And obviously it's a black on black uh, logo, so I need to change the color of it. I'll put a nice gradient on it. Uh, the same sort of purple that we've got on the top of this here. Uh, choose one that's identical. That one is identical. And then I'm just going to rasterize that as a layer. And convert it back to a smart object so it doesn't lose any of its uh, quality. And I'm going to pull it to size so that it is visible from here. 
Uh, just make sure that's uh, <clears throat> in its correct size there. So that is my first frame. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to this little logo here, which is the same as you'd have here, which just creates a new layer like you would, and click that. And now I have two frames. Now what I want to do for this frame is I want to then hide this vector smart object, which is the Elgato logo. I'm going to hide it. I'm now going to click back on here, and now you can see that it's on here visible, but it's hidden on here. And I'm going to go back there, and I'm going to get that up, and I'm going to get the Red Bull logo out. That is my second example. And I'm going to use the same group that I was, and I'm just going to post that in as a vector smart object. And I'm going to scale that down to size like I was. And scale it down some more so it fits in. And put it around about center. And then I'm going to change the gradient like I was. And pull that down to size. Rasterize that. And convert it back to a smart object. <clears throat> and put that around about in the middle. Like you see there. The most important thing you have to do now is go back to number one and you'll see the, the Red Bull logo overlaps the uh, Elgato logo. So all I want to do is hide that there, go back to here and show or unlock the uh, Red Bull logo. So when I switch back it goes Elgato to Red Bull to Elgato to Red Bull. And then I'm going to do the same thing again. Click that go on here, find a logo I want to use, something that's quite small and fits in, how about Control Freak, and I'm just going to highlight the whole thing, copy it, paste it in, and I'm going to want to hide the Red Bull logo there, scale this down to size, and put that in like that. Choose the same colour as the rest. Slide over and scale it down some more. And stick that there. And obviously I'm going to go back and hide that logo there. And hide the control freak logo there. And go back and put that one in. So it gets Red Bull, I'll get a Red Bull control freak. So you can keep doing this as long as you want. You could um, go and uh, like duplicate ones and put them out in a row. They just go on as long as you possibly wanted it to. I did one last week for um, Excellence Gaming and I have about 11-12 sponsors so the timeline just went on for 11 or 12. Um, the next thing you have to do is you have to decide how many loops you do. Um, Photoshop gives you a default once, um, three times or forever, or you can change it how many times. And this is how many times this or any other part of the overlay, uh, for example you could change the name so it swaps in between, you could change these bits if you wanted to, you can make it as complicated or as simple as you like. Uh, for the basis of this video and for the majority of what people do I'm just going to change the sponsors because uh, that's the only thing that really needs changing. So. I'm going to put that on forever and I'm just going to click back on number one and click forever. So all of this is now going to go on forever and we can see it before we see what it might look like uh, you need to decide how long you want each of these frames like how much how long do you want this to be on screen <clears throat> before it changes and you can choose like here like you can have no delay you could have a very very quickly uh, the one that I mainly use is about two seconds. Uh, two seconds might seem quite short, but when it's on screen and it's going constantly, it's actually quite um, a small time. And to see it go before you save it is you can play the animation. And you see that swaps over every two seconds. And that'll keep going and keep going. looks pretty neat I know 
Um, and obviously, depending on how many sponsors, that'll just keep going and going. I mean, if you want them to do something silly like 0.1 seconds, this is what it'll look like. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I don't, I don't know who you're trying to attract with the 0.1 seconds, but um, I mean, just whatever. Um, so we're gonna just flick that back to two seconds, uh, and then from there, you want to click back on number one, and we're gonna save this now. And obviously, you need to make sure that it's a PNG. That means you don't have a background for this. Has got a ghost background. So say you had a black background or whatever, you take the background off and leave it with the pixels. Uh, you then don't save it like you would. Normally you would go up to Control S, but there isn't actually an option for GIF here. Or if there is, it isn't very effective. I've used it anyway. So instead you go up File, and then you go Save for Web, because this would be saved on the web. And you can go up to... Which one do I use? GIF 128 no dealer is what I use and it keeps the uh, colors in relatively good order um, when you're saving it if you see this odd little white over it that is because it's PNG and it's supposed to be on the background when you put it on something like XSplit or OBS so if you're seeing this here don't worry about it uh, that will disappear as soon as you put it on a background and before you save it you want to check that it's all working fine so going to put the loop on it again and see how it's doing and how the logos look before you save it. As soon as you've done that you just need to click save and you need to choose somewhere where it's going to save. I mean I'm going to save mine on my desktop and call it test. <coughs> and that's all saved there. So here we have it here and it's on the desktop and it's a GIF. It's 100 uh, 190 20 by 1080 which is a full desktop size um, and this will open in an explorer like it did and there we go uh, as you can see it's swapping around um, obviously all the uh, like sponsors and that is literally all there is to it guys if you found this tutorial helpful and uh, you want to leave a thanks or something just like the video or leave a comment of something else I should do uh, I'm trying to move away from just doing apparel I know I haven't done one for a while but there is literally nothing else to do a tutorial on once you've done practically everything um, a lot of people have been asking me about the giveaway uh, I'm gonna let that run all the way till I reach 400 subscribers uh, the main thing is um, activity uh, I've been getting uh, emails about subscribers maybe like once or oh, maybe um, once or twice or like some days are like one subscriber a day some are like 10 uh, and it's not really fair to draw the giveaway while there are people still subscribing so when I hit 400 or get close to four, hitting 400 I will draw the giveaway to a close that gives more people a chance to enter and we can get to it um, I think I have the design that I was going to do for the giveaway here. Uh, let me just load that up. Uh, this is the design that I was going to use. Obviously, we get rid of the, like, the claws. I did this for a client, but they weren't very, um, what's the word for it? Um, responsive, I think is the best word to put it at. Uh, so we just save that. So this one on the right with the claws and stuff and, you know, the pulls. And you put your logo and then your sponsors on the back. I've got the AFI already, so that'll be super, super easy to do. Uh, and that is basically the basis of the giveaway, if you were interested anyway. Um, other than that, guys, um, I can't really think of much else that I need to talk about. Uh, as again, if there's anything you need to com contact me about, please feel free to do in the comments. Uh, leave a couple of questions for me. And that's pretty much it. Thank you very much guys for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video.